Hi everyone. Today we are going to make a score tracking app. So in this video, you'll learn how to do that. A real simple one that we'll modify later. So this is part one. All right, let's get started for free through dunkable.com. You might have to log in with your smart eagles.org account. We're going to create a new app. Type in uh, score tracker and hit create. All right, so here's our layout. This is the design and blocks is here. Right now we're seeing all of our components. Screen one is the only component we have in here. Here's where we can add components. And over here is uh, the components properties that we can change. So first thing I want to do is change the name of my screen. I like to call it main screen. Okay. And you could change the background color. You could add a photo to it, stuff like that, pictures, things like that, if you wanted to. Uh, right now, I'm going to leave mine uh, the way it is, blank. I'm going to drag in two buttons. This first button, I'm going to change to team one button. The way that this app is going to work is when you click on the button for team one, its score is going to go up. Uh, its score is going to start out at zero. I wanted to have a background of red and I wanted to have a big number. So let's say 95. Okay. Now it doesn't show everything. So I want it to be bigger. So I'm going to say, make it absolutely um, 150 big. There, that looks good. And I want the width to be the same. So absolute size, 150. And I don't like the roundness of this button, so I want to get rid of this and just make it 10. Yeah, I like that. Okay, looks good. Now, I'm going to bring in my other button. I'll put it underneath. Hopefully, oh, nope, it went to the top. So easy to change. I can just drag this down here like that, or I can come over here and drag it down here like this. All right, let's go back to the top of this component. Let's change it to team two button, team two button. And again, I want the text to be zero. Again, I'm going to make the text 100. I'm going to leave it blue this time going to change the height to absolute size of 150. I'm going to change the width to an absolute size of 150. And I'm going to change the radius of the borders down to, what did I do, 10? Looks about the same, let me see. Yep, click on the red, changed over, click on the blue, still 10. So they're both 10. All right, let's go ahead and make this work. So I'm going to go into the blocks to program it to make it work. And again, what I'm trying to do here is when I click on team one, I got one, so I need to click block. I want it to value to go up. So I want its text not to be zero anymore. So I'm going to put that there and I want it to be a math block and I want it to add a one to it. So I'm going to use this block, but I don't want to add one and one. That'll give two. I want it to be what it was plus one. I'll go back here to team one button, find what the text was. This is what it is right now. And add one, get in there, add one to it. So if it's zero, it's going to be one. If it's one, it's going to be two. If it's two, it's going to be three and so on. Every time I click this, it's going to set the text of the text one button to whatever it was plus an, another uh, one. All right. I think that's going to work. Let's try it out. Before I go any farther, I click on this, it goes up by one. Look at that. It goes up by another one. Perfect. All right, now that I know that works, I'm going to duplicate this by right clicking, click duplicate. You could also drag out all the blocks again. I feel like this is probably a little bit quicker. Change this all to team two. And so now my team two should do the same thing. Let's check it out. Yep, there it is. Team two is working. All right. Now, what if I, oh, that was the wrong score. I didn't mean to put it on red. I wanted to put it on blue. I need a way to make it go backwards. So one way of doing that is looking to see what we have here. We have touchdown, touch up, 
long click. I think I might try the long click, see if I like that. I'm going to take again this blocks right here. because I'm basically going to do the same thing, except instead of adding, I'm going to subtract one from it. All right, let's check it out, see if that works. So, oh, accidentally put four, it should not be four, long click. Look at that, went down to three. So that works for this. So I recommend guys uh, testing your code often. I wanna make sure this is you know written for team two here. So change that to team two. And so now let me check it. And so, oh, that still made it go down. That still made it go down, good. Thought there was doing something wrong there for a second. Good, and team two is doing the same thing, good. So that is what I want it. Now, one thing that I didn't think of that I probably need to do is how a way to reset it. So let's go back to design. I did think of this, but didn't talk about it earlier. Uh, and let's put in another button. So there we go, get that purple line to show up. Sometimes it's tricky to get it to show up where you want it, but there it is. And I'm gonna call this the reset button. So go over here and change the name. I highly recommend always renaming your components so that they make sense to you for what their purpose is. And then the text uh, property of every component should have a name that, especially that the user's gonna see it, it, it needs a name that it's gonna make sense to the user. So reset. And so I think that makes sense. Uh, if they need to reset it, they click on that button to make it reset. Let's make it a different color than the, than the blue one. Oh, I deleted the color, I didn't wanna do that. Let's make it orange. There we go, I like that. Uh, let's make the font black. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's go uh, into blocks and make this work. So what do we want it to do? We want it to, when we click on this button, we want it to make these values zero. So reset button, get the click command, bring that out. And uh, basically you want to take the text right here and make it zero. So going into math blocks, that's kind of what we're working on today. It's just kind of an introduction to some math blocks. And if I duplicate that, I can change that over to team button two. And both, when I click this, team button one's text will change to zero. Team bucks and team two button will change text, will change to zero. Let's go check it out. See if it works. All right, these guys are scoring a lot. Oh, these guys got a point. Let's reset it. Beautiful. And that's our score tracking app. Again, make sure you go into share, generate a link, copy that link, go back to today's assignment in Google Classroom and attach that link and then hit resubmit because you've already hopefully already submitted the first translator app. And this is the score app for this assignment. Thank you.